We're in. I saw Castle Crashers and Fable, and I really wanted to play those. Was that the wire? <laughs> Jacob? I don't remember who would be the wire. Start us off with Halo. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is hype. I love video game reveals and conferences and all that shit. I am all about this. Let's go. That was just a consistent liar? No, that was, uh, that was Christian. He was my friend in, like, middle school. Jacob was high school. Dude. Is this just some, like, like, cinematic made for, like, the game? Or the console, you know what I mean? I bet you it is. I bet you this is the manufacturing the console with this high quality cinematic. Or maybe not. Could be Halo. Could be something. The Mjolnir Exosuit is now- It's Halo, let's go! Even though this technology will save humanity in the world to come. Long. I must remind myself. It's Halo, they're making the Mjolnir armor. armor. Mass Chief's armor. Liquid crystal cannot rise on its own. Oh my god, are you kidding me with that music cue? <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> armor. That was so good. Cannot help. Drank my coffee yet. It all means nothing. Dude. Until you step inside. Dude, this that was hype. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Bro. So, okay, so one thing with this showcase is they're putting up, supposedly, they're putting up, like, Am I dead already? I, I must be, I mean, this is a punishment, right? They're supposedly putting up a bunch of games on the Xbox Store for demos for everyone. This is death. So what if this goes up on the store today? No. No. No, 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 no. This is picking up right where the last cinematic that we this saw left off. I'm going to have to make an emergency landing. That's so cool. Hold on. I'll have an Xbox? Well, you won't need one to play any of the first party games because they'll all be on PC. Let's go. <laughs> I don't even plan on getting a Series X. All gonna be on PC. No. Get. No. You. I can't stand this. Oh, you are. Breathe. No. <laughs> you don't get to tell me anything. We're. <laughs> that was awesome. Are you even listening? I count three anti-aircraft cannons. Three what? You'll be safe here. Uh, Steve oh, Downs, I'm dude. Safe. <laughs> safe? I haven't been safe since I found you. I found you, remember? You were out there on your own, and you'd still be out there if it wasn't for me. I thought I was going home. There the... won't be a home if we don't stop the banished. The fucking balls you on this guy to stand up to Master we're Chief. Outgunned, outnumbered. I know I saw Condors over there. I'm going to dig through them and find one with the working sleep space drive. And when you're done with this war, we get away from here. Far away. Wait here. Oh. Please. So I... Let me see what I can find. Cannons first. When I get back, we can look. Got I... So they said... Okay, big guy. At the beginning, I'm not super familiar with, like, the details of Halo lore, right? Oh, fuck yeah, let's go. Um... <laughs> Linkwell? That's awesome. Oh, dude. Alright. The grapple hook is in the bottom right. The, the rumored grapple hook that we saw on the cover. 
really good at? That's amazing. Um... Oh god, I forgot what I was saying. I'm so distracted. Okay, so the beginning started with a timeline. There's a sprint! There's still sprint, boys! We're good! Let's go! And a million Halo fans elsewhere just cried while I just cheered. So... <laughs> That's awesome. This looks so good. Oh, shit! Oh my god. Are they really? Huh. Okay, so this still could be more of an Uncharted 4, Uncharted Lost Legacy thing where it's a linear game where there are open sections. But it also could be entirely an open world game. This is insane. Oh! That's awesome. That's amazing, Aaron. Right? That's not the DMR. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so in with this. I I'm actually a real... Oh my god, I'm still trying to say what I was trying to say at the beginning. They gave a timeline, I'm not super familiar with the lore, so I'm not sure exactly how far... Whoa! I'm not sure exactly how far away this takes place from Halo 5. What they do with the story compared to Halo 5 is going to be very interesting to me. Because Halo 5 left on a cliffhanger. They were like, there's a big story here. And then everyone was like, no, we hate that story. So I'm like, how are they going to... And this is called Halo Infinite, not Halo 6. They're very clearly trying to make a statement. And holy shit, that looks gorgeous. And I'm so in. This is so cool. I'll shut up about the timeline now. We'll talk about that later. Hey, I mean it's it's an hour long, real. It's it's supposed to be done by noon my time. It's eleven oh six here. It's supposed to be an hour long. And I have a therapy appointment at one o'clock. And I really wanted to play more Rogue Company, so after this at noon, I'm gonna play a little bit of Rogue Company. On stream. Pulse Carbine Mangler? Pulse Carbine, dude? Yo! <laughs> It's a hand cannon! Oh no, it's not it! You have to like, arc your shots. Maybe you don't. Maybe he was just missing. Playing King Marcester. You should platinum that game if you haven't already. I don't know what that entails. This looks awesome. I haven't seen a boost yet. So maybe they took out the boost and kept the sprint, which is actually the opposite of what I wanted them to do. If they were gonna take out any mobility options, I wanted them to take out sprint and keep the boost, because I think the boost works really well. Dog. Oh my god. Bro, it's going. It's shaking great. I wish I could tell you it was difficult. But it wasn't. <laughs> Look at that smile. We are one step ahead. Always. Like a the carpenter building is stairs. Already under our control. Soon, the auditorium as well. The harbinger. Good on them for Surely starting with Halo. 
We fight together. It's a great call. Honor the will of Atriarchs. But without challenge, I grew weary, lost, alone. I gotta refresh myself on Halo lore. Yeah, it's true. It's, it's why some fight. A true test of legends. Our story will outlive us both. Where are we? What happened? Set a fire in your heart, Spartan. Bear your fangs. Fight hard. Die. Holiday 2020, still no release date. That's worrisome. Well, maybe they don't want to because they don't want to give off the console release date yet. So that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Gotten good with that, Arbos. Hell yeah, dude. Look at you go. We hope you enjoyed your first look at Halo Infinite's campaign. I'm incredibly proud of the team at 3.3. I will say, I've been a little we worried to share about this game overall. The battles that await you on the next chapter of Master Chief's journey. Because it's been a long time. This is the most ambitious campaign we've ever created and at 3.3. And multiple of the creative the leads time, keep leaving. To explore <laughs> so. a mysterious new Halo ring that's several times larger than our last two Halo games combined. Dude. Halo Infinite has been built from the ground up to take full advantage of Xbox Series X. Bigger Bad battles, playing it on epic PC. vistas, more complex visual effects, displayed <laughs> with, my with elite 10 times two. the processing power per pixel of Halo 5. This will be running at a flawless 60 frames per second. Yeah, and will Allow us to bring the Halo ring you to life it. in ways that have never been possible before. We look forward to sharing even more about Halo Infinite in the coming months, including the first look at multiplayer. And now, please enjoy a glimpse of what others in the Xbox Game Studios family have been working on. Dope. It's supposedly a launch title. That's that's World been though. I guess we don't know, but if it's not a launch title, it'd be stupid. <laughs> like it'd be so dumb. Hellblade oh, two is no way. No, this is too real. Oh, what is this? This looks familiar. This looks super. F Yo, it's fucking. <laughs> What's that game? I played it. <laughs> Shit, okay, all right. Is that what you do to scare off coyotes? <laughs> you scream at them? This might be a completely new IP, I don't actually know. It was a wolf? I don't fucking know. Wolf and a coyote was different. <laughs> Dude, I'm so excited to see more of their first party games. I still haven't played Ori 2, sadly. I really want to. I haven't played the first one, so I need to play both of them. I've wanted to forever. Oh! This is fine. State of Decay, dude! I was trying to remember the name, State of Decay 3! Are you kidding me? Bro, that's awesome! I was trying to call that, I couldn't recall the name of the game. I was gonna say the zombie game by the small studio that Welcome grew and the second one's multiplayer. The Xbox game showcase. Oh my god, it was Today, that art style! We're showing games that's from awesome. nine of our 15 Xbox game studios. Yeah, look at what they own. Including unveils of five new first party games. <laughs> well, it's not what you will see today is how Xbox Game Studios are harnessing their passions the to bring dream, their man. dreams to life. Also, we believe that how you find and play your games is as important as the device you play them on. Xbox Game Pass is the best way to discover and play. <laughs> That's and actually we want really you to be able to experience not as wrong, many great games as possible. So Game Pass myself. members, you can play every game you see today from your subscription or free to play. Well, they, These games will they announced Microsoft Flight Simulator on Xbox Series X, delivering unmatched That's been announced. 
performance, precision, and immersion. And we've designed the most consistently powerful next generation console. And we've built state-of-the-art platform technology to allow every developer to realize their full vision. I love Phil. One studio that has always pushed the limits of our hardware is Turn 10. And they're early in development on the next Forza Motorsport. And Xbox Series X is bringing them closer to their dream of unprecedented realism with ray tracing yes. and native 4K resolution all at 60 frames per second. The trailer you're about to see was captured. It's a motorsport year, I think. Engine. Wasn't Horizon 4 last year? World premiere. So yeah, it's gonna launch with a with a Forza game. It's gonna be it's gonna be motorsport. Forza's annual. There's gonna be a new Forza every year. As far as I know. Oh man, now's the time to talk about shit because I don't really care about Forza. Sorry, any Forza fan. <laughs> vroom vroom, motherfucker. Cargo burr. What's this big in my house? I don't know, man. I don't give a shit about cars. <laughs> no, I, I like racing games, but the racing games that I like are kart racers. I like arcadey kart racers. Forza Horizon is supposed to be more arcadey than motorsport. Motorsport is more of the simulator. And even that, I was not a fan. Rare. They are working on another game. Other than Sea of Thieves, my car Our goes world has a rhythm. <laughs> my car goes the way I want sense it. it. Yeah, but only a few truly feel it. I'm in immediately. It's a reboot. It what? Forza? No, Forza's moment. annual. Oh, are you just saying the title was Forza Motorsport? Every step, a perilous journey. I don't know. In the symmetry of that, that would be weird. I don't think I saw it. In the bonds we share. Look at that big chungus. Look at him. Look at that big old beard. Oh and in God. moments of stillness. <laughs> there are some avatar related uh, familiar art style kind of deals. And I'm all in. The expected. All in. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> that man just threw up a fucking <laughs> in dark places. <laughs> that would be that would be and stupid real. <laughs> I mean I could see them doing it, I'm just saying it'd be dumb. <laughs> Why would you need to... to stand watch? That's such a weird thing. Our world. But I don't I don't know. Maybe I don't get it. Our world has a rhythm. We all sense it. But only a few truly feel it. I'm so in. That looks awesome. That looks so cool. Everwild will give to you a magical and untamed natural world for Louise you to explore and to just truly lose yourself in. It's a place so to be cool. eternal. And eternal has the gift to sense and feel how magic flows through nature and connects every living thing. I'm so into that. The team here at Rare are so excited to be working on something like Holy Everwild. Shit. And I hope you're excited too. But I just want to take this opportunity to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone who's shown their support and love and for the incredible, awesome, positive community that's already growing around this game. Talks thank a lot you, with her hands. Thank you. It's fine, you know. Some people do that. 
I do that sometimes. Whoa. I just got hit with a flood of memories. This is the Life is Strange developer. I don't know the name. I'm seeing. Mom? Allison? I'm trying to... Yeah. I, didn't they buy him, them? It doesn't don't mean. nod. No, don't nod did. Believe us. Prequel to Life is Strange, didn't they? We all believe that what happened that night was self-defense. But we couldn't be sure. No, no, it's the Life is Strange developer. Okay. It doesn't matter that they kept us apart. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. It doesn't matter that finding the truth feels impossible. We're all done with fairy tales. The only thing that matters is you're my brother. And the only way to move forward Mom? is to keep looking back. I'm not gonna lie, them coming out the We've gate swinging whenever we see or hear something with like really new emotional. games is awesome. Yo, Everything big ass we whale. Saw we knew about Marianne just got thrown out the window. She loved you. Yeah, she mad attacked about a haircut. You. We both saw it. I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives. You're just starting a new one. Nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. We don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I can't do this. Stop! I, I, I am down. I actually really want to play that. Wow. Chapter 1 available August 27th. Lip syncing looks derpy. I think it always does in Don't Nod games. And even like Telltale games. I played too much Destiny. Hey, I thought everyone. that was a cursor for a moment. My name is Gennady. I'm the co-founder and director of technology. This is the Ori Studio, series. right? Today, we're Yo. very excited to tell you that we're working on a very, very special version of Ori and the Will of the Wisps, specifically for Xbox Series X. We are Maybe now I'll at a time just wait. where we can reach levels of fidelity and frame rates previously absolutely impossible on any console. An already <laughs> gorgeous game like intense, Ori but... can now run at 120 hertz refresh rate in full 4K what? HDR. Let's in its go. Quality. Too bad I don't have any display that can do silky that. smooth animation, super crisp, sharp image, <laughs> and low input latency, which is just so important for the tight and precise platforming feel of this game. We can also boost the immersion in different spaces. You in have the a 4K 144 hertz display that we previously Jesus did Christ not in real time. HDR. And with all of this crazy, that would be so power, expensive for a monitor. Give our players more options with how they want to play our game. I could, but we it's very made up, Dragons. You can't show that unless you have the display. Coming to they very clearly Series like slowed one side. later this year. It's awesome. Yeah, the problem is, is I prefer monitors. I play at my desk, so like, I want a 4K HDR. 144 hertz display, but I, that's gonna be hell expensive. From the, the farthest reaches of the universe comes the biggest mystery in the galaxy. An abandoned research facility, and now shady corporate intrigue. Marvel by the Gorgon asteroid. Is this a uh, outer, wi outer wilds or outer world of salacious secrets? And scandalous strangers. Greetings, attractive patron. You are looking downright unlawful today. With the right kind of case. <laughs> they wanted us to develop a miracle drug. Can put you on the wrong side of a gun. <laughs> or sword. Or this thing. Thrills. God, what's... It's worlds, Danger. right? The obsidian game? Intrigue. Yeah. A word of advice before you go, Captain. I assume this is out of world DLC. No one. What will you find? I like the music. Gorgon. <laughs> this internet cannot bring you any drinks in its current state. What's that? 
September 9th. It was a lot of people's, like, favorite game of last year. I've heard a lot of really good things about Outer Worlds. This is grounded. If you're waiting for the biggest game of the year, look somewhere else. Wait for Cyberpunk. <laughs> If you're ready for the smallest, <laughs> we've got you covered. That's so cute. Me too, dragons. That's why I never really checked it out. From Obsidian Entertainment, the makers of games That's so that funny. are nothing like this one. <laughs> this is great. This summer, strive together to thrive together. Or just feed your friend to the spiders oh, and go solo. That's one way to do it. Lock the secrets. Survive the horror. I know of Grounded. I haven't really seen a lot about it though. So this has actually is like interesting to me. Feed people to the spiders. It's the Honey I Shrunk the Kids game. <laughs> July 28th. That's like next week. That's literally next week. It's crazy. At Obsidian, we're dedicated to pushing narrative and role-playing games. It's something we do every day when we come to the office, and we can't wait for I would not know how to say that last name. Parallel Gorgon is the first of two planned story expansion packs for the Outer Worlds that we're putting together with our friends. I didn't know Obsidian was doing Grounded either. It's also either, important so that we continue to evolve how we tell stories in games, and Grounded is the perfect example of that. The team has been working for the last two years on how to tell an Obsidian story within a survival game. Now what's great is that you're going to be able to play the game on July 28th on Xbox Game Preview and on Steam Early Access. We I want figured. to hear from you and we want to continue to build Grounded together. Oh yeah, if you've been wondering, we have been working on that next big Obsidian RPG. Check this out. KOTOR World 3. World Premiere. Can you imagine? We have always known war. War never changes. <laughs> don't fuck with me, Teddy. Don't say things like that. They don't have the license. They couldn't do it. Even if they wanted to. It forged our empire. It turned heroes into queens and kings. <laughs> what if they show off the Amazon MMO? <laughs> and decimated our foes. <laughs> the Amazon Lord of the Rings MMO. Not the, not New World, the Lord of the Rings. Now our oaths <laughs> are lost. This just made me think. And you must face the monsters. Ah, right, it sounds good, eh? All good. Our sins have born. It's a Balrog! An oath worth the weight of a crown. Avowed. Okay, that that had very Lord of the Rings vibes, and I'm super in, dude. Okay. Okay. 100%. Let's go. Like I said, this is such a good call. They have waited and built and spent time wow, making new an games. And now, RPG here they all are. Here are all these new the games. When Obsidian Entertainment joined Xbox Game Studios, they told us that this epic game is the one they want to make. As creators of critically acclaimed RPGs, this is Obsidian at their best. And it is being built from the ground up to take full advantage of the power of Xbox Series X. At Xbox Game Studios, Dude, we also work with independent go. developers, always with the goal of empowering them to bring their ideas to life. I'm excited to announce our work with Interior Night, a new studio led by some of the most talented storytellers in our industry. Video games Let's are meet awesome. Caroline Marshall, studio head of Interior Night, to debut their original game. Everything is PC Dragons. All the first party Hello, Xbox Kelly, game studio games will our also be on PC. Really Any of the Outer Worlds games. Because when not you play your story, yeah. you stay Any into Obsidian the games. You get to Microsoft owns them. their fears, their hopes, their comforts. Forza, Halo. And in the process, 
you learn more about yourself. And this is quite powerful. Our first game spans 30 years in the American Southwest. It's a story about family, resilience, and sacrifice. But most of all, it's about how you will shape the fate Dragons. of real, flawed people trying to find their way in a world they don't fit in. Next gen for me is PS5 for exclusives and Xbox to play Ooh, most everything else, plus the Xbox Game Studios. A, a, a PC. I think I said an Xbox. A PC. Fortune I don't need a series. I would like to have one, but I don't need it. Much of late. I need you now. Cannot wait. But wanna look you not around. We were on our way to start a new life that summer. This is a visual novel. I like the art, but... It's just a stopover. Interactive drama. Maybe it is a movie. It might be. Mine. It was the end of the road. Whoa! This man bio. On the ground, now. But like Ori. The sun went down on all of yeah. us that day. But I imagine all of those features that are like, oh, for Xbox Series X. Coincidence. Like all the performance features, no. you'll be able to do on a, a PC too, I would secret. think. Buried in the dark. Microsoft doesn't care as long as you're paying them for Only Game Pass life. and buying their games. The shadows. But now they don't care where you get them. I'm finally ready to step into the light. I got your letters. As dust falls. That's actually really cool. I like that. That one actually didn't say Xbox One. Surprising. Here at Ninja Theory, we're hard at work Hellblade on two. all of our projects, including Still Senua Saga the first Hellblade. Hellblade 2, which we announced at the Game Awards back in December. An incredible 3.5 million players have now experienced Senua's story in Hellblade wow. Senua's Sacrifice. We're excited to start giving that, you an insight into game. what comes next for our Celtic Warrior, an experience that we'll be building in Unreal Engine 5 for Xbox Series X Jesus and PC. Jesus Christ. I'm that happy to reveal today that Senua's Saga will be set in the beautiful country of Iceland. I gotta play the first you one, You can find dude. out more about our location Fuck. scouting and how we've discovered the history of our setting in a brand new behind-the-scenes development diary which you can view straight that's after so the show cool. on the Ninja Theory YouTube channel. Also, yeah, Area, that's a good point. My computer can't do 4K right now. It can't. Like, that's just a fact. But again, I'm not really going for 4K right now because I don't have it's anything that so can display 4K. The impact that Hellblade Senua's sacrifice has had on so many players. And we're I'm going to be taking a slow leap into 4K. Story so far. And we're excited for you to be part of our development journey okay. from here on out. Oh, 44 hertz monitor. Let's see if I even find anything. They're all too big. I'm gonna have to get like a 27 inch. They don't have like any 24 inch 4K monitors. Here's a 4K. Actually, it doesn't say 4K. What? Hey, Jack Black! There the whole time? Hey, who wrote the song? Oh, this is awesome. Uh, Peter. Oh, Peter. Yeah. Fantastic work. This monitor, it doesn't even say 4K, but it says 14. It's 1440p, one millisecond response time, 165 hertz, $900, and it's 27 inches. I want a 24 inch 4K HDR, 144 hertz, one millisecond. I'm not gonna find that. I don't even know if it exists. Hope you don't mind poppins. This is Psychonauts, right? I've never played any sort of Psychonauts. Where are we? Shh. It's a quiet place. <laughs> <laughs> Lost alone. Dude. <laughs> Neither skin nor bone. <laughs> Just a thought is all I've got. Now my cover's blown. At 
Yeah, I mean, I want it, but like what I want for the display, like I said, I don't know if it exists. And if it does, it's like $1,000. 4K Ultra UHD. Up to 144 hertz. $1,700. Yeah, they just don't exist for monitors. It's so weird. This is, this is great. I'm so into this. Jack Black. Ooh. Some platform. Senses are the magic keys. Mine was about that. I'm not paying seventeen hundred dollars for it. I cannot do that. So. There's no way this is true. Which I never I just found one for two hundred fifty dollars. There's no way. Everything on here except HDR. This one doesn't have HDR. Yeah. Also, there's no way. How is this two hundred? Oh, and it's also sixty hertz. I'll figure it out eventually. Use the TV. I don't want to use the TV. We can't wait for you to experience <laughs> the amazing games built by Xbox These Game Studios. I sit this so close. There's so more for you to play on Xbox. We are partnering with thousands of creators, from the largest publishers to the smallest independent developers, to bring you the broadest <laughs> I don't think I have. games ever. I've watched There's a lot of his YouTube channel, in though. That is close to us. Jack Black. Not just geographically, but in history, too. I'm thrilled to announce Woo! that this fall, Beyond Light, let's go. will bring Destiny 2 to Xbox Series X. They're not going to give us any new info. Xbox Game Pass. So. If you are one of the more than 10 million Game Pass subscribers, you also get access to all current Destiny 2 expansions what? starting this September. Are For you Game serious? Pass Ultimate members, wow, God, Destiny Game Pass, will dude. will also be playable on mobile from the cloud. Later this year, Bungie will also release a new version of Destiny 2. Yep, that's that is November. Optimized for Xbox Series X. 4K resolution oh, I was, running thought at you were talking about Beyond Light. Sorry. Here's an all new look at oh, Bungie's God. Destiny 2 Beyond Light. Shit, it is new. We're getting new shit. This looks like a new I've strike. Seen terrible things born out in the darkness. Every moment brings them closer. It's time to step beyond the light. Get it? That's the title of the expansion. Oh, they're showing off stasis. What? <laughs> That's so cool. Dude, stasis looks so fun. Dude, PvP is gonna be insane. Aw, oh, man. Dude, I am so excited for November. Fucking A. I got Jotun and Le Monarch uh, literally like an hour before this, by the way. You can play any way you want it's awesome. Thanks to Xbox Game Pass. Wow. Some that's of the crazy. world's most inspired developers are working on games. So Beyond Xbox Light is on just honored to be able to Game Pass in November? Them. Xbox Series X will empower both new and experienced creators <laughs> to bring the future of games to life. Why like don't I just get before. a Series X and Unique just play it there? Unexpected for free. And fresh voices that demand to be heard. That's actually compelling. Wait for you to discover. <laughs> Hell yeah, All congrats, the games Dragons. we're about to see are being built to launch exclusively on Xbox consoles. Oh, Thanks fuck. And enjoy. Oh, no. Oh, no.
Guys. World premiere. <laughs> means I'm not gonna be able to play him. You'll be alone. Oh yeah, there's no crossplay. It's a good point. It's a good point. It's a good point. If there was though, that's actually not a bad idea. Cause like I would save 70 bucks. The the question is the field of view though. It can be 60 frames, but the question is are they gonna are they gonna let us have max field of view as well? Which I doubt. If they let max FOV in 60 frames, it'll be just like I play on PC, so. This is spooky. Chernobyl. I actually have not seen the miniseries, but I have HBO Max now, so now I can. I need to get with Future and see when we can watch the next Ghibli movie. I'm sorry, dragons. They hate Australia. What the fuck? Stalker 2. Alright, well that was kind of terrifying. World premiere. World premiere. Console launch exclusive. I guess. <laughs> Does Netflix not is Netflix not in Sweden at all? That would be insane. That's surprising. HBO Max, I get it. They're probably gonna roll out to new countries, so I get why they're not in Australia. In Australia. But if Netflix is a bit sweeter. That would be so weird. You stepped on that fool's head. <laughs> Release the Mandalorian. Well, that's Disney Plus. Inquisitor. I've reached a term of prime. They didn't release it anywhere other than America until after the first season was over, so everybody was already spoiled from like Baby Yoda. Sent into sub-level six of the hive to okay. determine the full extent of the unrest. That's I'll know more when they make it back. Warhammer Dark Tide. Is it? I'm trying to remind myself, what is Warhammer? Isn't it a PC, like... Maybe it's not World anything. Premiere. Maybe that's just completely new. What am I thinking of? I'm thinking of, like, a PC franchise that's, like, that sounds like that. It's like an RTS, like, strategy game. <laughs> it's okay. We are gamers. Gamers rise up. <laughs> was that Yusef? I think that was Yusef. Sweden got it after everyone else? Wow. Because I know... I know Mandalorian, like, only aired in Disney Plus in, in America, and then by the time other countries got it, like England, and I thought Australia too, it was, uh, it was done. I've edited a video with similar aspects like this. This must have been a pain. Fuck. I can't imagine. Hey, Tetris! Oh, really? Okay. Maybe it's just England that I was thinking of. One of those people is holding a 360 controller. That's funny. That's what I thought Tetris Effect! With an all new multiplayer. That's exciting.
Never played Tetris Five. I'm, I'm not a really World huge fan of Tetris. Premiere. I'm bad at it. My hand is cramping. Why? Approaching orbit. Scans a no-go. Sure you want to drop here? Hell yeah. Already lacing up my boots back here. This r that ship reminds me of a very specific indie good for nothing space rock playstation Whoa. game from forever ago Hold on. god what check. was that called this doesn't remind me find anything good Rex, you're not gonna believe this ouch what the dipshit yelled at people on twitter for talking about the show. Oh, I know what you mean. <laughs> Not surprising. This looks cool. This conference is already super impressive. They've done a really good job even in comparison to PlayStation. They gotta focus on him. Shouldn't they already know? The gunk. It's a weird name. Also, they're saying console launch exclusive. So I assume this games will probably come to PC. Or maybe even PlayStation eventually. It's just for the launch. I tried to cut myself out, but the voices, they just wouldn't stop calling out to me. Cut myself off. It all starts with a dead girl. He's done worse here. The forest. The moon. Scented pines. And then... The gunshot. Every story has two sides. A regular, rational one. But also a darker and deeper truth. Not Aye, this is this either. is too spooky for me. I've checked I out. See both. Worse. I She's got a cool jacket though. What? What if this is like Remedy's next game? <laughs> This seems very remedy. Hello? Anyone there? What? It says dual reality gameplay, two worlds rendered simultaneously. Can we not? All right. Okay, no. Hard pass. I was interested. Jesus, area. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, I'm sure area loves this. Which means I'm running the other direction. <laughs> The spookiness. The medium. Have we seen a little bit of this? I have to redeem that $80 Whoa. Patreon tier? I'll bring it back, I guess. I mean, I haven't had that tier in a while, but I'll bring it back. I could use the money. It's not true. What I need is steady income. <laughs> yeah. This is more my style. It's adorable. This looks like Xenoblade, am I crazy? This does look like Xenoblade. Is this not? No, this is Fantasy Star, right? Fantasy Star Online 2? Maybe? I don't know. It's one of those. There's something along those lines. 
<laughs> it's a square game. <laughs> it's a square Enix game. <laughs> I'm so god. Unknown threats. Yeah, this is fantasy stuff. Right? Yeah. I downloaded that. I never played it. That 12 year old has a grown man's body. I downloaded Fantasy Star online too, but I never, I never tried it out. I think it's still on my computer. Jesus. The bitrate cannot handle that. Well, Flight Sim's already been shown a bunch, man. I, I, I don't know if I would expect that. It, it exists and it's been shown. They probably will, but if not, they don't need to. New Genesis Fantasy Star Online 2. It's probably an expansion. Console launch exclusive. I've heard that they're probably not gonna show Fable, but I want them to really badly. Did that say Blacklight? Is this a new Blacklight game? Oh, Remedy? What? Oh, yeah, Remedy's working on, like, the story for this. Destiny chose me to save this world. Visually, this looks really cool. I heard somebody who played the beta. This is apparently a game that's really big in other countries. Can you protect me from fate? But it's not in America. And I heard from somebody who played the beta in America. And it's they thought it was apparently kind of janky. But this looks really cool. Man, I won't vomit. Vomit in, in two years. Soon, the entire world will burn. All That's actually true. I straight up have not had ramen in two years. The ghost is here. Crossfire X. Yeah, that's a. <coughs> that's Today, one of those games that you, you learn has like millions of players in China or something. Launch exclusives. Game Pass members can play every game you have seen today from Xbox Game Studios and all of our partners in the subscription or free to play. This is just a peek at some of the new titles coming to Xbox Series X. And some of the games you already love and some you have yet to play <laughs> will also be robot. optimized for Xbox Series X. Games like Forza Horizon Block 4, of chocolate. Gears 5, <laughs> and Sea of Thieves. You'll get <laughs> next-gen uh... upgrades at Good, no man. additional cost when they launch. Exciting. You can expect a lineup of over 100 titles for Xbox Series X this holiday season. That's, With Series X that's unprecedented, Pass, really. Xbox is the place to play, and you are at the center of everything we do. We don't now, refer to them as blocks of chocolate, or at least I don't. Xbox Game Studios today. Like that's that very. We'll have more to share I, later this I don't, year. I don't know. But until then, here's one more thing. One more thing. Fable. World premiere. What if it was? What if it was? This is it! I fucking called it, dude! Oh my god! It's Fable. Stories ...of legendary heroes... ...and treacherous villains. Dude, that's so and awesome! Fantastical creatures... ...and wondrous places... ...where nature... She's so happy. ...and magic... ...live in... Perfect harmony. That's I'm. S I can't believe they're showing it. Oh no! Not all stories have happy endings. 
Damn. But yours has yet to be written. Let's fucking go. I wanted that, dude. That's it. Th oh, this conference was everything I wanted and more. I wish there were more concrete dates. I still wish there is a an Xbox a date and a price for the Series X. Same with PlayStation. But it seems like both are just gonna wait forever until the one of the other one goes. And this was also, this is the Xbox Games Showcase, so they weren't gonna give info on the consoles. Um, the in <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> That's the big standout for me, is that, even though it was just a cinematic. I love this shit. I love, like, hype trailers. Every title! Game Pass members play every title that they showed today. Game Pass is fucking ridiculous. Legitimately came out swinging. They came out swinging. Holy shit. That was awesome. That was awesome. They did a very, very good job. My god. That was really, really good. That was really good. I just message everyone I know. About <laughs> what? You can't get platinums on Xbox. I have to give this a what it <laughs> fair so fable reboot forza reboot and halo uh, that is very very boiling it down oh man i wish i was taking notes because somebody's not gonna have like a recap article up yet but i would love to like go through no bloodborne too oh my god <laughs> dude that was really really good every single game that they showed is playable on game pass what an insane and effective business model. Like, holy shit, dude. What a, what a good showing. Good job, Xbox. Good fucking job, guys. <laughs> uh, could you imagine if they did, though? <laughs> Awoken was very interesting to me, too. Oh, or, or not Awoken. Uh, Avowed, Avowed. Yeah, 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 Avowed. Um... Wow, that's... Wow, look at you two. Wow. Um, yeah, Avowed, dude. It had very, very... I know that was just a cinematic, but it had very, very Lord of the Rings vibes. Um, for sure. Avowed, dude. Wow, everybody's coming out with Avowed. That's crazy. Open world Halo. They kept sprinting. It does not look like there is boost, which is actually kind of upsetting. Um... But maybe there is. They could. There could still be. I'm holding out hope. Um, oh, man. I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. All right. Grounded. Psychonauts. I don't even know what that was, but Psychonauts. Uh, Fabled, a.k.a. Peter Pan the Game, as Dragons is calling it. Uh, the Medium. The Medium does look fantastic. I don't play horror games, so it's not gonna be. It's not for me. <laughs> not for me. But it does look like a very good video game. Oh man, the the new Don't Nod game looks really good. I actually really want to play that. Um, I'm so happy they showed off Fable. Oh my god, I mean they didn't really show it off, but they officially announced it. That's so awesome. Forza is my thing I'm excited for, but Gran Turismo 7 excites me more. You will hear more about Forza. Forza is an annual franchise. Forza Motorsport comes out every 
every other year forza horizon comes out every year you'll you'll hear about them uh they're not gonna show those because honestly real most people don't like racing games sports games those are the things that a lot of like nerdy gamers are like you sports you racing so it's like in conferences most of the time people try to keep sports and racing games to a like pretty small showing so the people who are into those games will find the info and they it is going to be out there but they're not going to do that like in the in the conferences y'all remember that game with the long ass title i don't i don't I, I mean, I've never played Fable either, Dragons, but like I've said, I've always wanted to. I've always wanted to. Um, they went all out with FIFA last launch. I have no idea. <laughs> That's good to know. Uh, the last time I played a sports game was probably Madden many, many years ago. Uh, except if it's an EA conference. Yup. Because <laughs> sports are a big big chunk of their portfolio <laughs> so they show off a lot of sports in the ea conferences um man that was really good avowed for sure is the one that oh man avowed is probably the one that i'm most looking forward to avowed and everwild everwild really interests me everwild looks really cool it was a lot of, like, cinematics and whatnot, but that's going to happen when you announce a bunch of new games, right? Like, usually usually you don't announce a game and then be like, here's a 15-minute gameplay demo, <laughs> you know? Usually it's, like, cinematic, then eventually the gameplay demo, and then, you know, release and whatnot. So it makes sense that it was a lot more cinematics. Um, I'm glad we got as long of a Halo demo as we did fucking open world halo looks awesome i'm excited about that uh shit dude man that was that was really good that was really good oh my god they they also i will say to like the i need an xbox uh comment right they also showed off a good amount of things that were console launch exclusives which means oh well no they're probably actually that just means that <laughs> never mind that just means when it launches the console that it will be on is xbox so it'll still be on pc so i don't i, I just need pc <laughs> um yeah honestly area for you there is that is a good idea like for the way you described the way you play games and whatnot it makes sense you know or cinematic cutscene aka fake gameplay then a 30 minute gameplay apology uh i think you might be referring to a little game called assassin's creed valhalla and in that case you are correct sir you are correct yes that is absolutely what happened. anyways I think I'm going to cut off the discussion here, or at least, like, the major discussion. Those were my takeaways. Uh, I'm going to put this up on YouTube. So, hello, if you're watching this on YouTube. You know, <laughs> like and subscribe, hit that bell, comment down below, all this stuff. <laughs> Come check me out on Twitch.tv slash This is where all of this is done.